books that have helped me in the trading career? Well, there is the standard, basic standard work, which is Murphy, uh, Technical Analysis of Futures Markets. That actually gives you quite a superficial feel for all sorts of technical, technical approaches. You have to choose one of those approaches, is my advice, and work at it and work with it both for trade discovery and risk control. Murphy will not teach you those things. He will give you the bones of whichever technical approach you... Now, I'm talking about, largely talking about bar charting. He will give you the bones. They're good bones. They're, he's fairly rigorous. But the practice of trading with charts is very different from reading a book. I can't emphasize that too much. And it is your working with charts in real life situations, not just trade discovery, but risk management after you've got into the market, that will make you a chartist, not reading a book. But Murphy's a great introduction. Your question really is, given that you uh, like one sort of technical analysis, um, will there be old books, new books on it? Yes, there will. Are the old books um, relevant? Yes, they are. With this proviso that markets are changing. Markets are changing in terms of price information. Markets are also changing through the weight of speculative activity and money that entering some markets that were previously quite uh, pure in this, for example, commodity markets were once quite pure demand supply markets for end users. Now there's a weight of speculative money involved in there, so they do behave slightly differently than they once did formerly. So let's just go through those categories. We have the issue of technology communicating information around the world really quickly. We have the issue of hot money entering markets that were previously demand supply from end users. Now there's a lot of speculative energy in them. There is another issue which is the, uh, the type of trading going in which is to do with automated trading which can exaggerate price movements when levels are hit automatically there's a weight of money hitting into the market so it's not just the size of the speculative interest but also the manner in which it operates. All those things mean that markets do change the way they behave and so old texts will in principle be right but the details of how to implement their ideas patterns, strategies, need to be slightly adapted to modern markets. But frankly, that was always true, that no one text mastered the problems of technical trading in all markets, even at that time in the 30s, say. There were illiquid markets and liquid markets in the 30s. There were very speculative markets and there were, as it were, purest markets. So, in short, Good books are good books, and in charting terms, they always needed reinterpretation for a specific market, and that remains true today.